Friday about 3.30. If I was going to go spinning, I should be leaving right now. The tide's low at three hours. But I'm not going. You can see it's really windy. I mean, it's so windy you can't believe it. But it's nice. It's like almost 80. I've been uh, texting and talking to a guy with some knives. We're getting ready for the knife gig tomorrow. Putting the stuff in my truck tonight. If it to rain on it, but it won't hurt that stuff. So he finally called me and said, okay, you can come by today and pick these knives up, these blades. You see that blue bag right there? Stand by. I initially told him I'd pick them up today and get them back to him tomorrow. I mean this afternoon. Until I got over there. And in a minute you'll understand why. I'm going to take them to the knife gig tomorrow morning and sharpen them. Because it's generally kind of slow over there. Even on Saturdays. Stand by. Just watch what comes out of this bag. This is a Woodsman's Pal. Now we have something we can relate to. A big mora. This is one of the biggest moras I've ever seen. It looks brand spanking new. I might not even sharpen it. God, it's like a razor. Then we have something or other. Let's see what he called it. It's a Gerber Alpine Rescue. And we have another Mora. Now this one has seen some use. It's got some rough places up on the tip. Big Mora. And we have baby, baby standard Moras that I'm used to using. I have three of these myself. Pretty sharp. little stuff. Now we've got another one of them big Gerbers. This is a bigger one. This guy's a big camper. If you haven't figured that out yet. I think it goes in like this. Oh yeah. And here's another one of them big Gerbers. He has two of like everything. Mmm. And then we have another Woodsman's Pal. Like I said, two of everything. These, these babies are heavy. They look new, but they're not very sharp. I can figure out how to get it in there. There we go. And another Gerber. Two smalls, two large. Mmm. So I'll be busy tomorrow. That's it. Good gracious. Twelve blades. Varying sizes and shapes. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> it's like the first fair of the season. 
I'm set up in the back, sort of like. I brought my uh, gun show sign along just in case I need it, and it worked out good. I'll take you around for a quick spin here. Stand by. Well, I'll leave it on. There's so many people here. I'm not going to bore you with everybody that's here, but there's a lot of people here today. Pizza guy. Plants. Vegetables. Knickknacks. Where I normally set up is wide open with people. Okay. Well, my first customer is a Pakistani buck. You see she's in bad shape. Duller than a butter knife. Some doodads here, some doodads there. I'll give you a before and after in a few minutes. That's number two. There's a little frost. That says it's 25 years old. I've never seen one. I've seen some frost before, but I've never seen one quite like it. It's a little teeny taquita. Stand by. Well, after a hard day of knife sharpening, I'm having sweet potatoes. And lamb chops. My favorite. Mmm. -hmm. Stand by. I thought, well, I should. Well, I got all the camping gear done. The four big gerbers. The two long moras. The two uh, woodsman's friends and the trucker's axe. Trucker's friend. You can see they have a this. They're, they're a little bit different. This one has like a straight blade at the top, whereas this one has like a nail puller. But it's got a nail puller right there on the hatchet, the hammer end. These are pretty cool. I've never seen any of these until yesterday. Didn't even know they made anything like that. I've done a few of these. The Woodsman's Pal. Pottstown, Pennsylvania. They get really sharp. I know you're familiar with the moors. The long moors, they're pretty nice knives. I had never done any of these before. Now this one is the only one I sharpened. This one was like brand new, never out of the box. All I did was leather strop it with two compounds. Because it was pretty sharp. Now it's just more, a little bit more refined. And the Gerber's, I don't know. They're pretty sharp. Mm. Two big ones and two little ones. Okay. Surf Church Sunday. Guess we'll be heading to Nala. I'll add some pictures at the back of what I know. Beaver and Big John from Williamsburg. Beaver went last night. Big John went early in the morning. Beaver didn't do much, 
but Big John had a, a the Cladzilla day like we never heard of before on Saturday morning. He found like one penny, 34 quarters. I, I forgot the number of dimes and nickels that he found, all in the double digits, you know. I'll give you the counts when I get through. But it was a heck of a day he had. He said he dug so much dirt he couldn't sand, he couldn't believe it. That 920i, it's new stuff. He moved a, a, three tons of sand, I think is what he said. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know. See you later.